How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. They call me the Toaster and let's get right into today's episode. So you had asked me to make a automatic crop farm using the villagers. So I thought I'd give that a try. I know that on Bedrock it doesn't work super well, but I messed around a little bit in a creative world. So I hope I have something really interesting for you guys today. So what we're going to start with is we're going to start with carrots because golden carrots are the best food source in the game. So I think what I'm going to start with is by uh, doing an automatic carrot farm using the villagers. So first thing that I need to do is actually just plant all of these crops. So I'm going to make a couple of iron hoes right over here. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'll make two of them for now. I think that should be enough. And what else? I'm also going to need um, an, a bunch of water because I'm going to make an infinite water source. So do I have another bucket up here? Uh, let's see, I can make one. One, two, three. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to make a bucket. This is going to give me two pieces of water. And we're going to access the secret water fountain of youth right over here. This thing is still very useful. Uh, and we're going to cover this back up. I don't want anybody to know about this. Okay, so where I'm going to plant this is I'm going to plant this under the tree farm section of it because I'm not using that for very much at this time. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to, um, I guess we'll start, we'll start right over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, let's see, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're going to start here. It's going to be one, two, three, four. So I'm going to put one water source here. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig this out so that I can make a little source, infinite water source right over here. One water here, one water there. Okay, and now we're good. So we're going to put one in here. Okay, and these pillars are going to kind of get in the way. Uh, but that's okay, we could always fix that a little bit later. Next one, one, two, three, four. Perfect. Then we have one. Okay, and we're going to have to do a little bit of uh, demolition over here. We're going to have one two three four so the water's going to go right over here and i need to make sure they line up perfect and i'm going to add a third one if i can so basically one two three four okay and you know what let's just start with this for now and if i need to extend it i could always extend it a little bit later so i'm just going to fill in this area completely because uh what happens is when you're planting crops um you use the hoe to till out the dirt and if you, if you don't have a water source nearby, it's just going to turn back into dirt. And it, it also, you know, makes the farming a lot better. So from a water source, the, um, the water spreads to four blocks away for the tilled soil. So what I like to do is I just go on the diagonal by four. So that way it's one, two, three, four. And I know that pretty much everything on the inside of this is all free game that I could use. So I'm just going to fill in this area. Okay, so now that this is all filled in, I also want to protect this area too because I am going to be putting some villagers in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fence in this area. So let me just go make a couple of fences. Okay, so now that I've gone ahead and protected this area using a whole bunch of wood fences and I even used uh, some wool from my wool farm to be able to get in and out of this thing really easily. So what I need to do is I need to plant now all of these carrots, but... I don't have enough carrots to be able to fill this thing in completely, but because now that I have a bone meal farm, I could actually use that to uh, duplicate all of this carrots that I have and be able to get enough to plant all of it. So I'm going to build the automatic bone meal crop farm right here next to where all the bone meal is because it's going to be really easy to transfer the stuff out. So basically to get this build started, what you're going to need is you're going to need three hoppers, three dispensers, you're going to need one piece of dirt. You're going to need a water bucket, one sticky piston, a bunch of redstone, two redstone repeaters, a redstone torch, one trap door. It could be any kind of trap door. Of course, you also need your crop and we need an iron hoe as well. So to get started, we're going to start with the sticky piston right away. And I just don't like how it's only four blocks wide over here because I want everything to be kind of centered. So I'm just going to take out this one side over here. This is going to make things look a lot more symmetrical. Okay, perfect. Just like that. 
Okay, so we're going to start with this block over here. Uh, I'm going to break it down by two. And this is where the sticky piston is going to go. And on top of the sticky piston, we're going to place down the dirt block. And we're right behind it is where the water is going to go. So place down this water over here. And now what I can do is I can hoe out this dirt and I could plant a carrot in here. Perfect. The next part is going to be the dispensers. So we're going to have three dispensers here and they're each going to be facing towards uh, the carrots. So for me to place one above this water, I need to place a block behind here. And actually it's kind of dark back here. I think I need to put a bit more torches. Yeah, that's, that looks a lot better. And then the last dispenser right over here. And on top of these dispensers, I'm just going to put three hoppers. One, two, three. And this is where we could put our bone meal. So I guess I could start putting this right away. Let's see how much I have here. Three stacks plus two. Okay, so each one gets one stack at least. And then this one needs to be divided into three. So I'm just going to do three like that. And then three like that. So there we go. They each get about another 40 or so. Okay, perfect. Next, we're going to have to place some blocks just so that the carrots don't go flying everywhere. We don't want them to get out through the corners over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, place down these two blocks over here so that it should pretty much keep it intact. And this is where the trap door is going to go. I'm going to put it right here so that way I could stand very close to the carrots to collect them but not get trampled on uh, by the system. Okay, next what we need to do is to add a little bit of redstone. So I'm just going to put down one block behind this dispenser over here. And I'm also going to put down a block behind this dispenser over here. And I'm going to put redstone all along this. So basically this is going to power each of the dispensers once we power this redstone line over here. For this next part, I need to wire up the piston below. So I'm just going to clear out a couple of blocks here on the side. Okay, this next part is the redstone clock. So this part is a little bit tricky. So I'll try to go as slow as I possibly can. So basically what needs to happen is I'm just going to explain this without doing the redstone clock so that it makes a lot of sense. So right now the carrots are the carrots are loaded and the dispensers are ready. So if I power this, this is going to power all of the dispensers and this is going to grow the carrots instantly. And then what I need is I need to take this off and then I need to power the piston because once I push the piston up and then I retract it back down, you'll see I got all of those carrots and it's ready to be planted again. So we need to power the dispensers, turn them off, power the piston, turn it off. So the way I'm going to do that is by using a little clock. So this is how I, this is how I, I plan to do it. First, what I need to do is I need to put a block here with a redstone torch. And then there's going to be one repeater. And this repeater is going to run into the dispensers. So you see that this one is still powered. Okay. And then after that one, we're going to need to power the piston. So I need to extend this out a little bit. I can compress the redstone a little later. I just want to try to make this as clear as possible. So then after that, then there's going to be um, one second. So this repeater needs to be on um, one tick, two ticks. And this one is going to go directly inside of the piston. So we're going to wire this up to go into the piston. And I need to be careful that I don't cross these wires. Um, so I'm going to go like this. And if I put one here, there we go. That should power it. Okay. And then I need the redstone to turn this clock off. So what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way back just like this. And I'm going to need to extend this a little bit more. So if you're really good at redstone, you know what you got to do. You got to hit that like button. You got to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And if you have a way to make this a bit more efficient, a little bit smaller, then um, that would be really appreciated. Okay, so this should work now. I just need a way to get back up here. Let's see what I'm going to do. I could break this one here. Oh, no, not both of them. Just like this. Okay, so let's see if this works. Hopefully it does. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the carrots in here. So let's see. Just to make this really clear, I'm going to start with one carrot. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to stand right here. And when it goes down, I'm going to plant it. 
Okay, perfect. Look at that. So now basically all I have to do is I have to hold the right trigger. Um, and that way it's going to plant them. It, the bone meal is going to make them grow. The piston breaks it and I collect it. And look how much more carrots I'm actually getting. Perfect. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit until I get enough carrots to finish out the farm. Okay, perfect. So now that I got three stacks of carrots, I finally have enough to start planting the uh, the villager farm. But I think this is a great place to end this video. So if you liked it, please leave me a like, leave me a comment, tell me what you think, and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. All right, have an awesome day. Toaster out.